as I saw you circling the room once, twice, three times, the only thing that can come to my mind was that you had passed the ball into the post, to the center, <laughs> and that you were about to get, somebody set you a screen, you were about to get the ball back, and you give and go. I feel, based on our relationship for four years and the way we knew each other, that you and I are a bit overdressed. <laughs> We're accustomed to seeing each other in different garb. And to be here at this beautiful occasion tonight, when I think back on early, early one morning in your freshman year, so as people, many people here know, we had this crazy habit at Shalhevet's girls basketball team when I was the coach of starting our practices at 5.30 in the morning. And I tried my best always for the first couple of years I was coaching to be on time. I never wanted to be late. Difficult mornings early. But I remember one morning, I woke up especially early. My wife Penny says, you know, this is much earlier than usual. I said, look, uh, a whole crop of seniors just graduated, and I have a whole freshman class coming in, and I don't want to make a bad impression. I want to be the first one there, and I want to be waiting for them. So I drive from Westwood to the JCC, and I come into the building,